Welcome back guys in another video uh, today uh, for a shoe comparison. In last month I have done uh, four different 5k tests uh, in the same condition and speed uh, but uh, uh, each test wearing a different shoe. I wore the Garmin HRM uh, strap for the running dynamics uh, and in this video we're gonna compare uh, those four shoes. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon And I'll do it cause it's what I wanna fucking do Cause all these opinions and all these positions They come in in millions, they blocking your vision But no, you can't listen, that shit is all fiction Cause you hold the power it's as long as you're trapped the no comparison is going to be about the specs, uh, the running dynamics, the heart rate, uh, the running techniques, uh, my feeling and impressions. Finally, I'll give you my conclusions uh, deciding about which shoes to uh, use for my next 5k race. So stay till the very end because uh, I can tell you it was really interesting uh, to realize and check uh, what is in the data collected and also uh, in my impressions. Three of the four shoes are great shoes for me but under uh, your suggestion I picked also one of the shoes I was disappointed with which is the SL20 version 3. But before to start let me remark that I tried to run at the same uh, speed in the, all the tests uh, in the treadmill to have the same condition in order to have a better comparison so it's not the final time it took for running a 5k test which I'm comparing but rather the dynamics uh, at the same pace and conditions. With that being said let's start with the specs. So immediately we can see that the Commission 8 is the lightest one and uh, then we have the Adios 7 and the Adios Pro 2 which are still light but heavier than the Dacumi. As you know weight is really important in a 5k race uh, uh, so let's take this in mind. Important to remark is that the Adios Pro 2 has the energy rolls made in carbon instead of the Dacumi 8 in plastic or TPU. Uh, the Adios 7 has a normal torsion system and the SL20 nothing. Yes. Why put the torsion system? It's a waste of time and material, right? Let's continue. Then the stack 8 and the energy return of these shoes is different, of course, while we have two shoes with the full life strike pro in the midsole, which uh, we know is being more bounce here and uh, supporting the rolling motion. These shoes are the Adios Pro 2 and the Takumi Sen 8. We have also the Adios 7, which has a mix of Life Strike and Life Strike Pro Form in the forefoot, and SL20, which has a full Life Strike uh, midsole. Let's take in mind this important characteristic uh, together with the weight, uh, and uh, let's jump to have a look uh, to the running dynamics. But please, guys, before to go ahead, I truly love and need your support. So remember to leave a like if you like this content and uh, to subscribe. It is just one click for you, but a big fat support for me and uh, for the channel. Looking at the running dynamics collected, the main difference we can notice is the average uh, heart rate. Uh, uh, with the Adios 7 we have uh, an under 58, uh, with the Stakumi Sen 8 an under 59, with the Adios Pro 2 an under 60 and with the SL20 uh, an under 63. So surprisingly the Adios 7 works better than the Takumi Sen 8 uh, even if uh, uh, it is heavier and uh, it is not a, a fully light strike pro in the midsole but it has a torsion system instead of the energy rods uh, which seems uh, working pretty fine. Then of course the Takumi uh, follow as expected to be honest and uh, the other two shoes were uh, exactly my prediction according to the feeling and uh, that I had uh, uh, during running. With the SL20 I really felt the difference uh, while with others um, was less noticeable. I'll tell you my impression in a moment. Let's head now to the comparison, the ground counter time, the uh, GCT, uh, meaning the response, and the vertical oscillation ratio, the VOR, meaning the running efficiency. Lower values for the GCT in terms of milliseconds indicate a better response. Uh, for the vertical oscillation ratio, lower values indicate a better efficiency uh, or running form. Looking at that comparison, two data are really surprising. Uh, one is that the Adios 7, even keeping my heart rate a bit lower, has the worst response and efficiency. The second is how much better are the data for the SL20 in comparison to the higher uh, heart rate and my feeling. So kind of surprising to be honest, then uh, since I'm not yet uh, satisfied from this data, let's add also the average uh, cadence uh, to check it out. And the cadence is pretty similar as you can see with all the shoes. You know, we have all one of our legs uh, uh, which push more, therefore the balance is uh, not exactly 50-50. 
But I'm impressed how the Adios Pro 2, uh, which is well known as not to be uh, so stable, especially at a slower pace. In this case, uh, uh, it was the best shoe which uh, helped me to keep uh, a, a better ride. Talking about stability, then let's have a look to the different running uh, techniques uh, and check the stability with the different shoes. The SL20 looks stable, supporting my little pronation, so I would say fine. I don't see any supination, but I haven't felt any rolling motion support either. The Adios Pro 2 is stable, but I can see a little bit of pronation, so not really stable like the SL20, but with a lot of support in terms of rolling motion. The Adios 7 is uh, similar to the Adios Pro 2, so I would say uh, still okay. But the Takumi Sen 8, as you can see, is not stable at all for my running technique. It makes uh, me pronating uh, uh, even more than I'm used to, so it's the worst in this comparison. It's not so healthy for me, despite it is a great shoe, uh, I can use it rarely. Uh, if you can do the same uh, test with the shoes that you're running with, I would highly suggest to you, because having uh, this gear in mind uh, uh, could make you avoiding injuries. Inside the data, let's uh, now talk about my impressions. I felt more tired uh, with the SL20 having immediately a higher heart rate uh, um, in comparison to the other shoes, uh, as we can see here in the line in red. I felt to have uh, heavier shoes in my feet, to be honest. Uh, I haven't felt such response of the shoe as uh, the average ground con time collected would suggest us. I felt odd with the uh, Takumi Sen8 uh, and I felt the Adios Pro 2 a lot more bouncier than the others. But the data shows that uh, the VOR is not uh, the highest. The Adios 7 gave me uh, the better feeling in terms of stability and ride, uh, even though I felt it less bouncier in reality than the higher average uh, oscillation ratio, which uh, is uh, surprising. And even the average ground kind of time, which is higher, is impressive because uh, I believe the Adios 7 is a great and responsive shoe. So shortly, in conclusion, what I got from this test uh, is that uh, not all our impressions are uh, correct. Sometimes our impressions are far from reality. Uh, look the response of the Audio 7, for instance, uh, or its uh, VOR. I didn't expect it was uh, uh, that worse, uh, even worse than the SL20. Another point is that the shoe, which could be great for uh, uh, other runners, uh, it could not be ideal for you. Uh, look the Takumi for instance, unfortunately for me it's not ideal at all, even though it is a great shoe. The next point is that uh, great running dynamics don't uh, necessarily mean better results. Uh, it's a mix of different factors which contribute to the result and uh, the best fit. Not only weight or response, but it could be the shape of the outsole uh, to compromise everything, for instance, even in a super light weight shoe. And maybe only in your case, uh, because your running style. And now, guys, let's come to the question: which shoe to pick for uh, my next 5K race? I had the best feeling, even though it is not the lightest one, uh, and uh, it has no carbon plate, uh, uh, not even uh, carbon rods, but only a simple torsion system. The Audio 7 definitely for me is uh, the best choice uh, in this comparison. The Takumi Sen8 is a great shoe, but unfortunately is not uh, ideal for me. You have seen my running technique, uh, I mean, I can probably use it for a 5k, but it is not a comfortable ride for me, something I'm considering in the overall evaluation, of course. The Adios Pro 2, on the other hand, it could be a second choice, because I felt a uh, much better rolling motion than uh, the Adios 7, to be honest. It may be the heart rate, the best indicator to check uh, across all those running indicators, uh, which somehow consider all the factors uh, which contribute to the best results. Leave a comment below, it would be nice and therefore to know your opinion in this regard. It was really interesting for me running uh, this test, uh, prepared this comparison, uh, learning more about the running dynamics and impressions. Uh, if you like this content, just uh, let me know, leaving a like, so I will prepare other similar video uh, with other shoes. With that being said, I truly love your support. Let's keep this uh, channel growing. Uh, and uh, as always, as always, thanks for watching. Until the next time, keep running. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're responsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon And I'll do it cause it's what I wanna fucking do Cause all these opinions and all these positions They come in in millions, they blocking your vision But no, you can't listen, that shit is all fiction Cause you hold the power as long as you're dreaming